It's showtime, folks! <laughs> Ladies and gents, I'm back once again, and today I'm talking GFW, Impact Wrestling. All right, let's get right on into this. Global Force Wrestling, they have a new Global Wrestling Network uh, coming out, and uh, I found this to be pretty interesting. I heard it in passing like uh, a few weeks or a month ago that they were looking into doing this, and we have uh, a couple of new details to come out all right according to pwinsider.com a jumbo jeremy borash recently spoke about the uh global network uh it will be launching this month and it'll be an app for uh apple and android and they will have their own wrestling they will have their own website it will be globalwrestlingnetwork.com um also, also, it will offer free episodes of Impact as back catalog offerings, but they have yet to put out a price or what other content will be available. And look, I think this is a great idea. Uh, we don't know all the details uh, at the moment, but we have those couple of details. And look, the if they uh to, just to jump into a few things if they put the episodes of tna from yesteryear on there then look that's worth the price of admission or the work the price of the network alone you give me uh the, the team canada the machine guns uh small joe aj styles lax all those good teams and good memories oh yes I, 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 that'd be something I'd be looking into buying. Uh, also, uh, they can offer uh, up a couple of new shows. Uh, what comes to memory is Eric Bischoff, one of the few good ideas he had in TNA, he had a post show that the name is just escaping me, but it was a fantastic uh, post show that we play after Impact. Uh, we discussed storylines, and it was kind of like a real life. Or they, they made, it, made it as real life as possible. And it was a really good show. Maybe they can uh, offer that up on the network. Uh, if they so choose, if they advance far enough, they could probably offer pay-per-views upon it as well. We'll see if they look into a way to do that going forward. But looking at the price, uh, WWE has set a market. Whether that's fair or unfair, they've set a market at what these networks uh, should be, and it's pretty unfair to like the smaller companies. Uh, WWE is still at nine ninety nine, if I'm not mistaken, plus tax. Uh, and like Impact, I guess they could they could go above that, probably eleven dollars, twelve dollars, or what have you. However, they can't go. It is of my opinion that they can't go into like twenty dollars or twenty five dollars, something like that, because it wouldn't draw as much interest from the fans when they can just say, "Well, WWE is offering whatever for nine ninety nine, and, and you know I can't make the jump to all the way to twenty twenty five dollars or whatever." But we'll see about the price going forward. Uh, this looks very interesting, especially if they offer up. Uh, all of the recent episodes and all of the old stuff, the the, the classics, the classic uh, Joe versus Daniels versus AJ Styles. That that three way is one of one of the best, if not the best, three way match of all time. Just from a pure rope rate standpoint, and I know I won't go off into that, but if they offer up those matches. And moments, then that's worth the price alone. And I hope this turns out great. And I'll be looking forward to see to seeing any more information that comes out. So that's it for this uh, video. Uh, like and comment down below. What do you think? Uh, will you be interested in getting this network? Uh, what do you think about it? What do you think the price should be? Anything you have to comment, comment down below.